we are doing UHV3. And we have done up to lecture 11. And in the practice sessions, we did exercise one, observing the self by the self. And in exercise two, we completed step five yesterday. To recap briefly the steps, step one, we were just trying to observe the self and the body as two distinct entities, two separate realities. And we can observe that these two realities are there because we can observe the activities going on within me, the self. And I can also read the sensations taking place in the body or through the sense organs of the body. So I can make out that the body is also there. So this was step one. In step two, we were trying to observe the interaction between these two entities, between the self and the body. And we said that whatever um, exchange is happening between these two, whatever interaction is happening between the self and the body is only in the form of information. There is nothing physical being transferred between the self and the body. So I decide to give some instruction to the body. The body follows. There are many processes going on in the body. So there are many sensations in the body. I choose, I decide to read the sensation that I think is important for me as and when I want. And then I decide what to do. So either way, when I'm giving the instruction or when I'm reading the sensation, this is only information. Nothing physical is being exchanged here. In step three, we were observing who is deciding, who is the decision maker in all this interaction between the self and the body. And it was very clear that I am the one who is deciding. Because I am, when it comes to giving instructions, I am giving instructions as and when I think it is required or when I think it is important. And what instruction to give, when to give, all this I am deciding. The body just follows whatever I instruct. When I look at the sensations, many sensations are there in the body. I choose to read only those that seem significant to me. And as and when I want to read them. Whenever I think they are important for me to read, I read them. I may not be consciously seeing that they are important for me, but uh, this is what you know, eventually I am doing this. And I, when I become aware of this, I can see that I am the one who is choosing and reading these sensations. Out of all so many sensations, I may be choosing to read a few, whichever I think are important for me. In step four, we were trying to observe this distance that is there between the self and the body. So if there's any sensation I'm reading in the body, I can observe that I am not the sensation. Neither am I in the sensation but I can read the sensation from where I am. So I'm at a distance from the sensation. Or in other words, one can say that there is a distance between the self and the body. Then in step five, we were looking at the sources of sensation in the body, that it could be the behavior of, you know, when I'm interacting with another human being, the behavior of the person that I'm interacting with, when that person says something, speaks something, or um, looks in a particular way, or whatever 
some action the other person does it has some impact on the body there is some sensation that is generated in the body that can be one source another source can be that no person is involved but it's just the physiochemical state outside so the environment the climate it could be physical facility the food what kind of impact what kind of sensation it has on the body that can be another source or it could be that there is no interaction with the outside but the processes that are going on in the body they can lead to some sensation so these three sources of sensation are there and when i read these sensations first of all if we look at the three choices behavior of the other human being now so if the person is saying something the sound of the words that he is speaking reaches my ears leads to some sensation in the body i read that sensation i taste that sensation and i give meaning to that sensation this meaning that i give to it depends on whatever i have assumed to be true about various things which is my sanskar so depending on my sanskar i give some meaning to that sensation similarly if there is some physiochemical event outside it has some impact on the body it leads to some sensation in the body i taste the sensation i give meaning to that sensation in conjunction with my sanskar whatever is my sanskar based on that i give some meaning to it so for instance food has been cooked at home and i reach home so many things are visible on the table but i choose to read the sensation of the you know the what i can see through the gross eyes on the table the food and based on what i see if you know i give meaning to it so i may give meaning that this is tasty food i haven't yet tasted the food but i have seen what it looks like you know that sensation i have read and i decide i give meaning to it that this is interesting food or this is not interesting food so this meaning i give based on whatever my acceptances are whatever my sanskars are and of course they will be different for different people it could also be the sensation that is taking place within the body not related to the outside like sometimes there is pain somewhere in the body stomach pain headache something some joint pain that will lead to some sensation so i taste the sensation again i give meaning to the sensation according to my sanskar that is why you will see that different people respond differently to the same conditions because in the body there is some sensation but we are the ones who give meaning to it we are the ones first of all who choose to read it give meaning to it and then decide what to do with it depending on the meaning we give so then we looked at this and 
you can see in this chart if it is some event outside behavior of another person or a physiochemical change now this is what is there outside the body this has some impact on the body leads to some sensation in the body now the self chooses to read this sensation that is my decision i have a choice i may or may not read so i decide i choose to read and taste the sensation then i give meaning to that sensation along with my sanskar this sanskar may be just an acceptance without knowing or with knowing and accordingly i am either influenced or not influenced by this sensation i am deciding my feeling whether it is in line with natural acceptance or not i am choosing that and therefore i am choosing to be happy or unhappy with this so i am either reacting or responding so if my sanskar is based on understanding then i can have the definite feeling i can respond to the situation every time if my sanskar is not based on understanding it is just some assumption without understanding then it is not clear if it is something pleasant for me i may respond if it is something unpleasant i may react so i may be happy or unhappy for that moment all this is happening within the self then if i choose to decide to express this outside then i give instruction to the body and the body acts according to my instruction and that leads to the expression outside so all these steps are happening before we actually express something outside and you can see that the majority of the steps the crucial steps are taking place within me the decision about what to express outside what not to express whether to respond or react all that decision is happening within me the body is just following similarly you can go to the next slide even with the event within the body oh, we don't have that uh when there is a sensation uh event within the body when there is a sensation in the body then now nothing is impacting from outside but there is uh, um there are many sensations in the body i am the one who is choosing to read and then going through the same process giving meaning getting influenced or not influenced responding or reacting and then if i choose to express it outside then i give instructions accordingly and then the body follows and there is an expression outside so all this we saw in step 5 next slide please so you can see in all of this that lot of choices i am making here i may not be aware of these choices but i need to become aware of all these choices that i am making whether to read or not read a sensation that also depends on my sanskar what i think is important i read whatever i think is important is based on my sanskar whatever i have accepted to be important what kind of meaning i give to that sensation that also depends on my sanskar then based on this meaning that i have given either i get influenced by it or not influenced that also depends on my sanskar so then i decide my feeling according to this 
so all of this is depending on my sanskar therefore it is important for me to observe my sanskar like we said if the sanskar is based on understanding my feeling can be definite based on right understanding and i can be in a state of happiness i can ensure the feeling within me i can respond each time rightly evaluate the situation but if it is based on some assumptions without understanding then my feeling will not be definite i may evaluate whatever input comes in incorrectly because of my sanskar i may become excited i may react so i need to observe my sanskar it is important because it is leading to my happiness or unhappiness i have to check is my sanskar based on understanding or is it based on some assumption without understanding so yesterday we had given this assignment we can go to the next slide yeah particularly with your interaction with others say your family members or when you are working colleagues at work we said that we have to try to observe each step of this interaction that when the other says something or there is some behavior of the other person it is leading to some sensation in your body first of all you are choosing to you are deciding to choosing to read this sensation you may not also but you do then you taste this sensation you give some meaning to it on the basis of your sanskar are you getting influenced by the other's behavior or are you uninfluenced by the other's behavior comfortable in your self what is the feeling you are choosing to have for the other are you happy with this feeling or unhappy are you responding or reacting inside and then do you give instruction to the body to express this outside does the body follow all this we were to observe yesterday so if any of us would like to share our observations uh, this process if we could do yesterday particularly with the interactions with others because this is a very common source of unhappiness for many of us that are close people who are our loved ones family members with them we seem to have issues and we are not sure what to do how to go about it so any observations regarding this or any questions any queries we can take those now uh didi i have observation of poor interaction of yesterday mm-hmm. in both the cases they were of not my liking i mean when uh, earlier uh, i used to uh, uh, i used to be in opposition in both the interaction when i uh, it started so in one of the case i could be able to settle immediately with the kind of understanding that uh, okay the person doesn't have intention uh, to hurt me or something like that but in other interaction i could not able to manage to understand the intention of the person uh and in that particular case i would be able to follow these steps and uh, even though i know that uh, i uh, i should try to uh, uh, um, to see that no uh, the intention was correct and all but i could not able to manage in the second interaction but uh, uh, those uh, For steps i could be able to see clearly ki what i am doing 
mm-hmm. I am going with the assumption. All these things I could be able to manage to see, but I could not able to do it correctly. I mean, I could not able to correct it. In one of the yeah. case, I I am able to do it immediately. Immediately, in the sense that a uh, first reaction, oh, like this. But then again, okay, okay, no, no issue. Uh, I will do in this particular way. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was my observation, and one question is also there regarding the yesterday's discussion. So, shall I ask it later on? Yeah, first we'll discuss this. Yeah. Reactions that happen. Yeah. So you notice that you know there are some sanskars that are weaker sanskars. Yeah. Sanskars that are stronger sanskars. Right. Some things are very very important to us. Something. Okay, it's all right. We can manage kind of thing. Yeah. So when it is a weaker sanskar, we may be able to overcome it easily. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. But something that is extremely important to us and we strongly believe in it, mm-hmm. and now going the other way, now it is very hard for us to accept mm-hmm. because my sanskar is driving it. But when yeah. you say that I am not able to see the intention of the other, mm-hmm. the intention is just like mine. So whatever uh-huh. is my natural acceptance, that is the natural acceptance of the other also. Okay, isn't it? I mean, huh, you yes, 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 yes. Look at the uh-huh. feeling of trust. We go through this, no? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So if you ask that other person. Definitely, you will get the same response. So, whatever is my intention, is also the intention of the other, because the natural acceptance is the same for all. Ha! Huh, yes. The question is: sometimes, what happens is this that the sanskar is so deep rooted, has been there from so long. Yeah. That even though I go through these steps, even though I can see all of this. Yeah. Yeah. but when it comes to actually choosing the feeling i am mm-hmm. still not able to because my sanskar is driving this very strongly that yes. is why we need to observe the sanskar what is that which is driving my feeling why is it so important for me yeah because once i observe it the sanskar once i see it yes and i can see that it is not in line with understanding mm-hmm. then it will become easy for me to drop it but till i see it it drives yeah. my feeling yeah yeah so yeah you have to and build the competence to be able to see what is it that is driving this feeling ha huh. i is it actually, important Yeah, uh, actually, Didi, in the while uh, doing in the morning that observation for half an hour, mm. uh, in both the exercises, I could be able to uh, now read the feelings also that it is in opposition or it is natural acceptance or what. But the sanskar, uh, I could not able to uh, observe. It will That's take. Okay. It will happen. Ha! Huh, it will take. I mean, it is going to take. Longer time as I could uh, see that. Yeah, just see that you know. I mean, I would consider it a short time that you have been working on this, mm-hmm. and earlier, huh. you know, when you started, perhaps you couldn't see the thoughts also. Then you see. Huh. Yes, the yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Then for huh. a long time you are not able to see the feeling, but now you are able to see the feeling, and it becomes very clear once you can huh. see, you can see it. Ha ha ha! Right. Similarly, the sanskar is a little bit more subtle. Hmm. It has been deep rooted, something that we believe so deep rooted, we don't even think about it. It just mm-hmm. seems to be happening on its own, like almost yeah. spontaneously. Yeah, But right, as right. you keep observing, as you keep paying attention, you will also observe the sanskar there. Okay. Layers and layers and layers of sanskars we keep accumulating, piling on. All right. We are not aware. So slowly we will become aware, and that is a natural process of unfolding. So it will happen. All right. Yes. 
and didi the question uh, raised uh, based on the discussion going on yesterday one mm-hmm. of the uh, co explorer was sharing that uh, she was a headache and uh, when she has uh, diverted her attention doing other work the headache was gone mm-hmm. so the question rises uh, was uh, since she has not taken any medicine or something like this so the body was already okay and it was uh, we are trying to read that pain or how come it will automatically cure without doing anything see if i don't read the sensation it doesn't exist for me isn't it uh but body has some discomfort body has discomfort or i have discomfort oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> the body has some sensation okay i am the one who is giving it the meaning that this is uncomfortable this is discomfort okay. body can be in harmony or slightly in disharmony yes isn't it body yes. has lot of capacity to try and recuperate to try and come back to harmony all of that as part of its natural you know self organization Uh-huh. but what i read what sensation i read when i read that is up to me okay so supposing i have a headache mhm and i am getting disturbed by it i am mm-hmm. reading that sensation and i am getting disturbed all right now i get busy doing something yes yes now my thoughts my feelings all are occupied with what i am doing yeah and that seems more important to me so i am doing that yes now i have forgotten about the headache because uh-huh. i am not reading that sensation anymore so when i don't read it yeah it doesn't exist for me the disharmony may still be there in the body okay and when i am you know at another moment i may be again able to see that no mm mm-hmm. mhm sometimes or very often i create the disharmony in the body with my own thoughts with my own feelings ha huh, right hai na so yes. if i have a different thought different feeling yes it may not be there anymore ha huh, right That also right is possible yes yes so yes many yes. things are possible Mhm but you can see that it is your choice you are choosing huh. you are deciding ha huh. right isn't it so if you don't yeah. read it then it doesn't exist for you yeah you that everything is fine right 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 like oh, we keep oh. giving this example no the body needs mm. rest okay body needs rest so every night by 9:30 10 we turn off the light and we say no no body we have to sleep mm-hmm. and then we wake up at whatever 5 o'clock or whatever mm-hmm. time wake up mm-hmm. but supposing there is a marriage in the house huh right what happens <laughs> now what happened to the body needing rest now i am busy chatting with the family members oh the you know people have gathered after so long i'm meeting all the relatives it's so much fun yeah right. i'm not paying attention to that sensation at all yes now it is fine i uh. stay up for so much time eventually after everybody leaves and everything is over then i fall asleep while sitting mm. in the chair only i fall asleep yes so all this i am choosing i am deciding ha huh, right based on what i think is important okay right 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 didi thank you so much thank you didi okay we can move forward we can move to step 6 so essentially this slide is basically saying the same thing that we just said in step 5 observing your response or reaction to 
either the external events or the events in the body so external events either the behavior of another human being or related to some physiochemical event something related to physical facility there is some impact on the body there is some event in the body that can also lead to sensation in the body so these three sources can be there when it comes to the self now i am reading that sensation that i consider important like we were just discussing in the example with sangeeta ji so whatever i think is important accordingly i read that sensation then i give meaning to that sensation this meaning that i am giving to the sensation is influenced by my sanskar even what i am reading that is also influenced by my sanskar what i think is important that is according to my sanskar then based on that i decide what to do either i respond or react and if required i give instruction to the body and then it is expressed outside so same thing different colors but essentially same thing so we can say that the important thing is that we must try to observe the sanskar next slide yeah so if my sanskar is based on assumption without understanding then what then i will not be able to ensure the right feeling within me isn't it i cannot ensure it all the time i cannot have continuous happiness all the time so i keep trying to get happiness from outside try to have the right sensation from outside try to have the right feeling from the other this will go on and so all my decisions will be influenced by this sensation so supposing i like the taste of the sensation or the feeling that i am getting then i become happy i call it happy but it's really a state of excitement i can't continue to be in that state i try to i cling to that taste i feel you know i can't let go i keep craving for it so i am reacting inside if it is somebody else giving me the right feeling i am unhappy if they don't give me the right feeling i am craving for that attention for that feeling from the other if i dislike the taste of the sensation or feeling i become unhappy and i want to discontinue with that taste i have an aversion for it and so i am reacting within you will notice this with physical facility as well as with people lot of times you see somebody walking towards you and lot of things are going on within you shall i say hello or shall i take the other route not have to see the face not have to say hello so all this depends on my sanskar depends on what i have accepted about the other person it may have to do with my past experience with that person perhaps the last time i talked to that person he was rude so i am recalling that and i am thinking now should i say hello should i smile or should i just take the side route and not have to face him so we avoid people that we think are going to lead to an unpleasant experience and we get closer to or we are keen to meet with people who we call like minded people people who have similar tastes similar opinions to ours people with whom we have had 
positive experiences in the past and so on similarly when it comes to say physical facility some food or something or anything that we are seeing it is also a sensation so there is a lizard on the wall one person may look at it and not have any major repulsion or anything my sanskar i have accepted that is also a creature it's on the wall another person may think oh this ugly creature it is there on the wall now what if it falls on me so many thoughts may be there but you can see what is driving that somewhere i have given this meaning to it that this is unpleasant this is ugly this is not nice and so on so now i react to this you'll see we are doing this constantly with so many things there is some food i come home and i say what's been made for dinner i look at it and oh no again i have to eat this now somewhere i have assumed this that this is something that is tasty this is something that is not tasty no based on my liking another person may be very happy with that and may say oh wonderful i love it so we we based on whatever we think important whatever we call pleasant unpleasant you know our likes our dislikes our opinions can be very different and our sanskar is driving this whatever we have accepted about it so we keep doing this and this is driving our feeling and ultimately our no response or reaction to the event outside or to the sensation within so uh, continuing this if you go to the next slide we already have discussed it but just to yeah so i may choose to express my reaction outside through the body that also sometimes we say i didn't react so what we are trying to say sometimes is i didn't express it outside but inside the reaction was on and it was the cause of my unhappiness which is a very significant thing for me so it's not about showing the other that i am okay it is about me myself what i am feeling right now whether it is that i am happy with this or unhappy that makes all the difference to me so i may choose to express this reaction that is happening within me outside through the body to the feeling that the other is expressing for example like we were discussing now doubting the intention of the other getting irritated shouting back this shouting back will be an expression the irritation within also i may be expressing it through my you know facial um movements or whatever all these are choices i am making when it is physiochemical changes so supposing it is cold and i think oh my god it is uh, so many how many degrees is it so many degrees oh my goodness let me put on this that and the other and i put on layers and layers and layers i am overdressing this is a reaction isn't it 
similarly the state of the body for example small headache but i give a certain meaning to it that my goodness this could be a tumor this could be this this could be that so i rush to the doctor i do all kinds of tests all of that or on the other hand if i have a very high fever but i say are it's okay body is just instrument so all right and i keep going about my business and i take it too lightly all these are reactions but if i had the understanding then i would take responsibility i would ensure my feeling and rightly evaluate the conditions outside or the condition within the body any questions so far otherwise we'll keep going forward okay go forward and we'll come back to your questions no if the sanskar is based on understanding then what happens then we tend to respond to the situation in a very self organized manner so if my sanskar is based on knowing on right understanding then i understand relationships i understand my relatedness to every other unit i have the right feeling with the right feeling i am in a state of harmony i can ensure this right feeling within me all the time and when you no know, i have the right feeling i am happy being in harmony i am happy now when the sensation i read i use that sensation to make the right evaluation of the body or of the outside world then i decide how to respond and my response will always be in a mutually fulfilling manner which means i will if it is another person i will have concern for the other person also now i'll be able to give the right meaning to it that this feeling that the other is expressing is an indication of that person's state of being i don't have to get disturbed by it for example the other person is shouting getting angry that means what instead of doubting the intention i can also see take this meaning if i have the understanding then i will not doubt the intention i know that the intention is pure like mine but rather he is shouting or getting angry because he doesn't have the right understanding he is the one who is disturbed he is the one who needs help so now i start looking at what i can do to help him what i can do to make him feel comfortable be in harmony so now my whole view has shifted just because now my sanskar is based on understanding similarly for some physiochemical change in the environment like the cold weather that we were saying now i am comfortable within with my right feeling i see that it is cold i assess it rightly how cold it is and based on that i decide what to wear i don't overdress i am not reacting i don't get disturbed i don't panic but i just choose what i need to wear based on the requirement of protecting the body similarly when it comes to the state of the body now the head is hurting i don't panic i don't think of tumors and things like that. i think what is the most likely reason because i am undisturbed with that not being disturbed now i am able to rightly evaluate the situation 
and i can see okay head might be hurting because i overate in the afternoon so maybe i will eat light at night so that i can compensate some bloating i could feel so maybe um, i need to eat light at night maybe the headache was because of my not drinking enough water let me drink some more water that will help and so on so i respond to the situation with this i express my response outside if i think it is important through the body now what has happened whatever was the behavior or work of the other person whatever was the physiochemical change whatever was the state of the body it has no impact on my state of happiness because my feeling is already ensured i am already in a state of happiness so this doesn't lead to any change in my happiness rather i am with that happiness with that being comfortable within i am able to rightly evaluate the situation so i am self organized i am responding to the situation yes any questions or any observation it's not a uh, sharing i just have a question in my mind which keeps on repeating mm -hmm. since i am at the time i have been being involved in this uhp classes mm -hmm. it certainly has changed my perception but still uh, i wonder if uh, i uh, you think that i am having a right feeling like say uh, one example was taken of a person that is keeps on shouting does not behavior his behavior is a different type so that uh, situation i can analyze i can analyze that uh, uh, he his competency level is uh, low or he is not logically uh, feeling but uh, uh, he is not uh, the feeling uh, with the other person shouting without a reason so that is not uh, good but if we take another example uh, this example like shouting we understand and we can avoid that situation or maybe we can have a talk where we can make him realize that uh, this question is not about avoiding or making the other person realize question is if i have the right feeling then i am able to have concern for the other you see okay yeah, okay this is this is what i wanted to my feeling yeah yes okay so one person is to, uh, behaving in this fashion and uh, i say that i have the right feeling right understanding and i keep uh, comfortable i am happy inside and all that so but uh, this next situation like say when i go out of my house so i am really i re really care about this housekeeping cleanliness and all that once i go out of my house and see all that garbage the filth uh, the choked uh, the drainage system and this is uh, keeping on repeating every time for years together uh, till i remember uh, early from my childhood now uh, can i think that i still have a right feeling right understanding to remain calm happy uh, even under the situations uh, <laughs> if how i can we express right this feeling. one how to remain calm yeah. and how do we change i, I mean i cannot change the surrounding but how do i change myself this is uh, what i keep on thinking in fact we can do both we can make effort to change ourselves also we can make effort to change the surrounding also see all these years you are mentioning from childhood you are seeing this yes ma'am each time you are seeing it you are becoming unhappy Isn't it? It's yes, madam. I am very unhappy. I become very uncomfortable. I I yeah. don't understand why the people of our country cannot. Uh, they 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 are they feel happy when they plan to visit uh, a foreign country. They come back. They have all praises for people uh, for administration, but they won't do or they won't stand against this in our country, where yeah. they are supposed to 
live forever right now what is our feeling for them of course it is feeling of opposition because i am seeing myself as very different from them but then if you see i also haven't done anything about it all these years it's making me unhappy but i am just continuing with the unhappiness not really doing anything about no. it you see you see what i do is uh, during the weekends i really go to the park i pick up all that garbage and all that i clean all that surroundings near my house but uh, i cannot do it for the whole city <laughs> uh yeah, i i do think that sometime yeah. i might like to after my job is over i would like to meet the mlas or the municipal committee that you tell us we will help you that uh, we will clean this we will make uh, teams but you would let us only know that where we have to put this garbage and what yeah. is the waste management system the it government is planning how to dispose it off yeah see what is happening is we look at problems and we try to find some solution na no? but yes, in the process we may not be looking at the whole picture you need a holistic solution you try doing correcting something in one place you might be distorting something else somewhere else unless you see the whole picture yes ma'am so similarly if i can see that this is a problem yes it is there similarly there are many other problems isn't it yes ma'am everything should be perfect outside you know that is not up to me i can make effort for it when it will be perfect outside to my liking that is a very difficult question no to answer so am yes. i just going to be unhappy with this or can i be in a state of comfort and make effort for it and if you see this you know the whole uhv effort is in that direction that we are trying to transform ourselves we are trying to have the right understanding and with that the right feeling and at the same time we are participating in trying to change or you know transform the society eventually and that process is happening through spreading of this awareness and spreading of um this information which when you self explore it can lead to transformation within you so eventually we are working for that but we need not become uncomfortable and unhappy every time we see this because that also is you know something we are deciding we are choosing based on our own sanskar yes i know that it is not the right situation i know that there are many problems but now but, just see uh, no. if you continue to be unhappy about all the problems it's not solving anything no no, no, Rather, no uh, if we can yes. increase the level of understanding there also if you see it is just that people lack understanding it is not a lack of intention the intention there is no problem the natural acceptance is the same for all but the person has to refer to the natural acceptance no person is not referring to the natural acceptance no, uh, 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 if i put a question like this uh, uh, can i say that my sanskar is not good that is why i am uncomfortable on seeing such things and most of the people who also passes through all these situations they remain calm i find they are not worried about this situation Uh, can we say that the, the sanskar of those people are good see sanskar you will be able to see you can't really comment on other people's sanskars first we try to observe yourself and you see what you know what you can do about the situation for yourself first and foremost i need to build my competence at least my being happy or unhappy is entirely up to me forget the outside right now forget the other people forget the outside i can't even manage my own state no my state of happiness or unhappiness that is my responsibility at least that is the bare minimum no so if i can take responsibility for my own feeling if i can be responsible for ensuring the right feeling within myself 
then i will be able to rightly evaluate the outside also i will make effort i will make effort for resolution a holistic solution not just piece meal because if you look at piece meal there are many 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 problems isn't it then we'll yes. keep becoming unhappy then no i i no no i do not remain unhappy for long i just uh, move away I from that avoid. situation i become is, calm what we we avert we avoid this is what we were talking about so that's not uh, really a solution no? no i still i can't avoid because i have to go through that uh, anyway i mean you get but i remain right? calm i try to meditate and i try to my i tell to myself that i should become like others that i should not be so much uncomfortable regarding this okay we will find a solution some sometime uh, but we are not, not doing anything working. about it from childhood yes, till because. now we have not been able to find a solution no so uh, point yes. is at least start with within ourselves so that we can have transformation within and then make effort outside because until and unless i am in a state of calm or comfort i cannot rightly evaluate the situation outside either yes so i would say you know, just um reflect on this we can come back to it if there are more questions yes, ma okay ma thank you ma thank you thank you uh, is that uh, the expectation is the sanskar of uh, uh, my uh, self uh, that is the one doubt ma see when you don't have the right feeling within uh -huh. you are expecting to get this happiness from outside this is what expectation is isn't it mm. so you are looking for the right feeling from outside you are looking mm. for uh, you know different whether it be taste of food or whatever it is you're trying to look for that happiness outside mm. you are expecting this from outside mm. yeah mm. does that answer your question yeah no. yeah thank you um so today what we'll do is we'll just um look at this you know what our response or reaction is on the basis of our sanskars and that the sanskars are the ones that are driving our feeling that is leading to our uh, response or reaction within and then expression outside if required so we'll try to observe this like yesterday similar thing but more uh, we'll try more to look at the sanskars 